I'm fucking still a hood rat, man. I'm still living in a hood, getting involved in all sorts of shit. For that 40 minutes that they stand in front of us, at least I can say I brought the world together. I've only been good at the music thing. You know, what do you want to be when you grow up? I'm going to be in a fucking band. I think it's music that keeps us alive, keeps us together. But I really believe it's, it's ordained that us five guys should be together and make the music that we make. And what it means to people, that's really fulfilling, you know. It's a little bit more to Skin Dread than just the band. I think it's a brotherhood in Skin Dread. Any of the bust-ups we've had have always been relatively minor, or, you know, it would be over something so stupid. And then, you know, there's this huge kick-off. Tell me a song I have said, fuck you, I'm not going to change it. Well, go on, like, fuck just, off, I'll, then. I'll, I'll do it. Do you want me to finish? I thought last week was fucking shit. So did you, so did you. So no one really says anything about it. The tough times, I think, is something we never talk about. There has been times where it's got on pretty out of control. Alcohol definitely became one way of numbing any kind of reality. We were on tour and at the time my mum had cancer. I woke up really early and, and then my sister called back and then just say like mum's gone, you know. I think volume is the record the fans have wanted us to make. I know it's the record we wanted to make. The most guitar-y, riffy, aggro album we've made so far. It's organic. It's a truth album. Because it was written quite fast, the nature of it is quite riffy. It's for the fans. It's by fans, for fans of music. Fuck it. Life's too short. Before you know, they're throwing dust on you and they're going, remember him. And I want them to say, remember him, that fucking crazy black guy.